Hello guys, my name is Jahazy, and today I have a special guest named V Premonition. Hey, what up guys? Uh, my name is V Premonition, and I make Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 commentaries. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so we're playing uh, Search and Destroy on Derailed, right? Or, or Derail, either way. I mean, I'm not... I'm not an English whiz or anything like that, but uh, well, the 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 train is derailed. So. Yeah, but the map is derail. But the train is derailed, and it's in the center of the map, so it's pretty relevant. I guess if if you're looking for um, a logical title for this map, I guess it would be derailed. But um, <laughs> I'm going with Infinity Ward, and uh, we're gonna call this map derail. You know what? You know what? Don't get me started with Infinity Ward because they didn't give me dedicated servers. <laughs> That's your problem, man. You got a $2,000 computer when you could go buy a $300 Xbox and get the red rings and lose it for two weeks and get it back. And then pay another $100. <laughs> and then pay another $100. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then pay, uh, what, $60, $70 a year just so I can play it online. Hey, you know, that's how us ballers roll. Hey, that's how you guys get the map packs, and I don't friggin' have them right now. Dude, don't even get me started on the map packs, dude. You don't want to hear this roid rage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually, you know what? Let's touch base on the map packs, because that's really relevant right now. Okay, so, I play Xbox 360, and the stimulus map pack just came out uh, today, actually. And so I get home from work and I'm all stoked about, you know, getting on the map packs and playing the new maps and I hop on and all of a sudden there's this thing at the bottom that says stimulus. So I click on it and basically the stimulus maps are like a big game of mosh pit. You don't get to choose what game style you want to play. You just pick stimulus and you get stuck with demolition, which I don't play, and sabotage, which I don't play, and everybody camps in noob tubes. <laughs> What's new about the noob tubes? Seriously. No, it's it's way way worse now. The reason I think the reason for it is because people don't know the maps and they're afraid to run out, and they just sit back in noob tube the whole game. And as you guys are gonna see if you go check out my channel, is that I don't camp at all. And the best game I've got so far, I played probably 15 games on the stimulus thing, and the best game I've got is 36 and 16 or something like that, which for myself isn't isn't really a great score. So I'm just. I'm kind of over the stimulus thing until people learn the maps and start running around some more. Yeah, and get a little, get a little hair on their balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put some fuzz on them peaches. <laughs> yeah, alright, so uh, you're playing Search and Destroy here. What's the majority type of gameplay that you have up on your channel? Um, I have a little bit of everything on my channel. I, I'm known for getting uh, special nukes or nuke requests from my subscribers. I have the first ever Akimbo Rafika nuke on my channel. Um, I've gotten Akimbo M9 nuke. Both of those are in domination. But I really enjoy playing Search and Destroy and Free For All the most, to be completely honest. But um, I just try to post decent scores in games and give people good tips on how to improve their gameplay. Yep, yep. It's a solid channel. <laughs> I like to think so. I'd like to think so too. Um, oh. Right here, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't consider this camping, no, because you you were running around a hell of a lot before this. This is what what you're doing right there uh, before you jumped out the window is, uh, I'd say, assessing the situation. Yeah, yeah, because we just planted the bomb at A, and there's no point for me to run out and run all around. I have one teammate near the bomb. And I'm up in that building. I'm going to be able to see everyone that uh, that runs towards the bomb for the majority of the part. So I'm just going to sit there and kind of chill out and watch and uh, see if anyone tries to get to the bomb. So uh, the kill streaks that you're using, let's touch base a little bit about that. Um, this game, I'm using the Predator Missile, Harrier Strike, and the Pavlo. And for most people, I wouldn't recommend these kill streaks. I'm not trying to say that you know the majority of players, the majority of subscribers are not good enough to obtain them. But the thing is, is if you guys go for these and say you get the uh, you get to the Harrier one out of every ten or one out of every fifteen games, you're really not being beneficial to your team by doing that. And if you can't obtain these kill streaks, you know, one out of every three games, I'd say, then I wouldn't use them because you're going to be much more beneficial to your team if you're using the UAV and the care package and the Predator missile, as opposed to using these. Uh -huh. That's a, that's the thing about Search and Destroy. I, I don't really enjoy it because you don't get a lot of kills and there's a lot of waiting around and a lot of tedious, tedious things that I just don't enjoy. <laughs> I just don't I think, like that. 
I think my big, my big thing with Search and Destroy is a lot of times when I play Search, I use the intervention. I love to snipe. Um, and I like how there's a lot of kill cams in one game. And I try to go for the sick kill cams, you know, jumping off a building halfway across the map or 360ing people or no scoping or all that cool stuff. That's, I think that's what draws me to it a lot. And I also like the tactical gameplay to it. Yeah, as a as a YouTuber, I think that would be like the only reason why I'd be playing a lot of Search and Destroy, other than like posting up good matches and beastly matches like this, uh, would be the kill cams because you know that is entertainment, like hands yeah. hands down, that shit's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and and the the thing I really love about the kill cams is because um, a lot of people can't really 360 and stuff like that. And yet again, I'm not trying to uh, put anybody down or say that anyone's a bad player, but I love the reactions from people. Yeah, I know. You get the whole party, everybody in there going, Whoa! Crazy! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, that's exactly what it is. And I love hearing people say that. And actually, um, I live with my aunt and uncle for the time being because I just moved to Atlanta, Georgia. And my uncle, he gets the biggest kick out of it, out of watching <laughs> these kids scream when I do something cool. He'll sit there and he'll laugh his ass off for five minutes straight at all the reactions I get. So that's another thing I like doing it for. Yeah, a little personal benefit right there. Yeah, exactly. A little uh, personal ecstasy, I guess you'd say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. The Ump. Ump 45. It's a good rushing weapon, eh? Uh, the UMP 45 is, is a great all-around weapon, in my opinion. I mean, if you learn how to burst fire with it good, you can, you can get those long-range shots. And I think it's two bullets when you're up close. you got to hit someone with two shots. So, I mean... It's a super powerful gun, and it's a great, great rush gun. It's got a fairly big clip, especially for the rate of fire. I mean, like I said, you only have to hit people with two bullets. And with a clip this size, you can you can take out two or three people pretty easily if they're all coming at you at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's a good weapon for, a, you know, running into a room and then just spraying the hell out of everybody because you're at close range. Yeah. Um, when I play search and I'm rushing, typically I tend to use the UMP or the MP5K. Um, depending on the map, because a big map like this on derail, it's super hard to shoot people from a long range with the uh, MP5. But um, when you're playing a close quarters map, the MP5 is an amazing gun to just go on buildings and just tear people up with. Yeah, just uh, kick down the door, wave in the faux faux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, homie. Yeah, that's my rap skills, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean. No, I mean. Yeah, so right here, what you're doing is, <laughs> you're just uh, you're protecting the bomb, right? Yeah. When I mean, the whole thing when you play search is to grab the bomb and plant it. The bomb's the baby. You want to put it in the crib. Um, <laughs> these kids, I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I don't know if they ate too many paint chips. They got thrown into a ceiling fan. I mean, I don't know what happened to them, uh, but. Probably lead probably lead poisoning <laughs> <laughs> but they don't go for the bomb at all which is stupid i mean it's, it's just it's, it's not the, smart it's the whole reason why you're playing yeah and i and i set a claymore on it and i sit there and camp on it because typically people would come for the bomb and uh no one comes for the bomb so that's why that part's really really boring and we had to fast forward through it that's the, here's a, one of the things I hate about Search and Destroy. You died, and now you're basically just watching everybody like, eh, not my cup of tea. Uh, yeah, it's one of my biggest pet peeves, too, because I hate watching these kids like this right here. I'm going to go through all the kill cams, and, or all, all Wait, the uh, what was that players. Kid, that are, what was that kid that? shooting at? I think he was trying, I think that, that light had a fly in it. And there was like a moth flying around it, and he was going for that moth, hoping he would get like 20 points or something. I have no idea. Special, uh... Unlock. Yeah, he gets a new title for it. I'm a camper. He, he, he gets <laughs> no, he gets Mothra <laughs> instead of a nuke. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but as you were saying, like, I mean, I'm gonna go through all these guys that are still alive, and they move a combined about 13 feet or uh, 10 meters, I guess, something like that, for all you Canadian folks that are watching Jahazi's channel. And it's just, it's really boring. And this guy right here has amazing accuracy. I mean, I couldn't <laughs> believe how good he did right there. I was so proud of him. Yeah, that was, uh, that was incredible right there. Yeah, he, he just definitely tore that guy up with his uh, amazing skills. His amazing Rafika. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, the Rafika nuke that you got on your channel. That's some pretty beastly shit right there. Yeah, I uh, I actually got that idea from my first subscriber. He requested I did that, and I went into a few games, and I was like, these guns are pretty badass, actually. 
And I got in a game on, uh, I think it was High Rise, which I never would have guessed that I would have got the nuke on that map. But yeah, um, I know, I, I rarely get nukes on that map, too. Yeah, because you can't do anything with your air support, and I get six or eight kills with my air support, but the players I'm playing against just keep trying to rush me, and I'm, I just kind of chill out in one specific area, and um, I get the nuke with the Rafikas. It's, it's pretty impressive, in my opinion. Yep, yep. Anyways, guys, uh, here's the, the matches uh, winding up. Uh, v Premonition scores 14 and 1 on Search and Destroy. That's absolutely beast. Thank you, uh, Premonition, for coming by. No problem, man. Thank you for having me. And please go subscribe to his channel. See you guys later.